So let's, this is the second attempt to input the Kawasaki robot. So let's do it, import. And the reason I'm showing this orientation because I have forgotten to follow the orientation of the robot during my first attempt and I fail my first attempt. So please remember to follow the default orientation of the robot. So let's say if I import something in. So from here, here, and here. Notice my orientation is not correct. So I will need to reorientate my robot. 90 degree following the um, right hand rules. Okay, now it's accurate. Then starting from here, we we'll just redo everything that we have done previously. So let's delete this graphic group, delete, put it over to the center here. Okay, now let's check. This is what I have imported. Zero zero zero. Not sure what it is. So let's delete and copy, paste, backup, then delete. So I have this geometry and Let's copy and paste, and I'll be working with this work group. Okay, so let's try to starting from the first one, it's just this geometry. Geometry, let's uh, make it animation animatable object z axis. This is so simple. I usually get this very fast. This is equivalent to zero. So just put zero here. But this is not zero, this is the uh, position. Reference to uh, reference to the origin. Where is this? I don't know. If I try to put zero, it is still here, but so weird. Why it is still here? But in fact, it is not at the zero position. Even though this is zero, so weird. So weird. So weird. Why is it so weird? Let's try to delete again, just to confirm that I'm looking with the right, right files. Delete, delete, copy, paste, visible. Look. So here I have this S um, ungroup. Okay, after ungroup, then yeah, I think I forgot to ungroup previously. So first of all, get this make before I make zero zero and zero. This is zero. Where is this reference point? Where is this position referring to? If I just put zero. Simply nothing change. 
let's see this is this some value one meter zero zero came here so that's my, my that's my question why why is it here why is it here but Okay, let's try to verify the origin of each of the of the object. This is base. This one zero 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 is here. Zero 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 zero. Why is it here? Okay, this is so weird. Let's see this. It's here. Okay, it is here now. So wow. Oh my gosh. This is zero. Why is it over there? Oh my god, uh, of, um, zero. So this is so weird. Who can explain? So if you are getting this kind of values, I would say I will propose you to reuse your recheck your cat data to probably not to use uh jt format but try to use other format to you see this if you're getting this kind of data this is all not zero i mean this is all zero position but weird so weird should i continue or should i stop I think I have the strength to continue to investigate the problem. Let's stop here. Okay, come back to here. So I have this geometry. Okay. Let's try to uh, export again, export this geometry. This step bar. This plate, export to Let's put it inside the folder, okay. Data to export surface, only the solids. Now let's try to import this guy and see how is it look like. Okay, well, what is this? 
why is there so many things here? Two groups, but uh, whether they are in the same. Okay, so this is kind of fishy. Let's. Let's check. This is not good. So let's try another method. Export STL data to export select. seven of them Set delete import raw material. This one, yep. Okay. Now Delete my work. I need to bring in this zero, okay. Zero. Wow, I like this. This is so consistent. So make sure when you import them, they are all starting from zero position as such. This is a good. So this is very, very good. Now let's try to new groups, backup, and copy, paste. Delete. So I have this and uh, imported graphics. Again, import Kuka to check the orientation. So Siemens. I'll do it one more time before I go to sleep. Sun Kuka. So this way. Okay, make sure you follow. Okay, uh, this one delete ninety. I think this is okay. So everything starts from zero now, which is a good start. And uh, delete this guy. Where's Kuka? Don't need Kuka. Kuka is there. Uh, back up. My rotation is actually delete. So just save my file for a second. Now duplicate backup. Copy, place, height, rename as work. Let's try to work with this ungroup and check 3D properties, zero. Parts, 
So make sure that everything is zero. So let's see this guy. Zero. So the first let's put some name, some names. So this will be uh, JT2. This will be uh, JT3, JT1. Zero zero zero. This one JT three. JT three. This one JT four. Zero. JT five. This one. Uh, okay, I did zero. And what? What are you? J T seven. Seven. And did zero. J T six. So this is a better backup. Let's quickly. Uh, Change this to backup, and this is to delete. Delete. Backup. This one is a nice backup. Let's create a new copy paste. This is a work folder. Now we'll be working with the work folder. The work robot. I have all this. The um, J joins. Now let's start with join number two. Make animatable objects. Okay. So join number three. Cut. Paste it here. So this is kind of weird. It. How come it goes to two? If just one, two. Yes, now let's make animatable object. Okay. So let's put JD four. Cuts paste. It's how come two? Just put it back. Now JT five. Cut paste. So there is something fishy going on. Now let's try to put JT4 as a new animator group. But uh, quickly rename this as uh, that. Y1. And Y2. Cut is so weird, so weird. It's zero. Now JD six and seven cut paste cut paste now. New animatable object SJ cut is zero. Okay, everything is zero. So nice step file. So the the trick is to use step file 
you know, when you're importing. Now let's check one by one. Uh, this is there is some offset requirement. Okay. Let's see this one. Okay, there is some offset requirement as well. Okay, yeah, nice, very nice. And very nice as well. So let's do it one by one slowly. Is there any way where I can uh, adjust? Because I already have the points here. So this is the original point. It is uh, totally zero. So if I want this to move to that point, basically the values here need to be close to because we need to do adjustment for each of them to move to from this point to that point close to simply negative of this value because currently it is here so if I put negative value negative of this value close because I want it to go to the zero point I want it to go to the zero point so that means this is equals to zero minus this one so I have these three points so once I have these three points so how about this guy let's see let's try to do this first so from here um, step it over here and this guy, right? I'm currently at Z. And here, the tree. Copy this value. Put here. Copy this value. Here. Copy this value. Copy here. Where are you? So. It's gone. Impossible. Oh, I know. Because this is in millimeters, so I need to convert to cent to meter. Let's try again. This guy copy here, copy, copy here, copy, copy here. So now it's touching. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, and as well, this guy we need to shift this amount as well. So this, this is this is definitely need to do it now. I yeah. So let's do it now. Edit, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Done. Nice. Very very nice. Now let's look into. Right, so the Z, let's continue with the Z edit. Join Z, this will be the regular join, 10 degree per second. Okay, Z is done. Let's look into Y1. Again, this point, we need to reach this point here. That means uh, is again, a conversion, I mean, I mean from this point to this point, Need it to go through this value. Let's try to do this. Edit 3D. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Not exactly. At that location. So from here to here, that means from, okay, this is, 
this is the base this is the base of joint 2 this is going from here to there xyz so from here to here I'll need to move z axis is pointing upwards. Okay, let's check my z axis. Yep, this is z axis. These two points. Four six nine six four six five. Four one seven. So the travel distance is one one seven four six five. This should bring me to the horizon. Let's say this guy, right? But why is it not there? Because I, I think it's because we have shifted this one. Let's say if I haven't shifted this guy, it should not reflect here. It will not. It will never reflect here because this is a new coordinate system, so it will never reflect here. So this is just the business between these two join. <sighs> Come on, man, why? This is the origin. If I try to move this value instead, directly move this value, minus four six uh point four six five. I think I get got this better if I put this value directly. But why is it the why is this the case? It should be nothing to do. It should have nothing to do with that. Oh, gosh, this is so crazy. So this is a great let's try again. So Zach is pointing here. I'm not sure why, but uh, let's continue in here. But this one, if I try to put this uh, this is simply equals to the negative uh, 
let's try to put this back here and see. Edit. Copy. I'm losing my sense. By doing so, I'm actually not sure what happens. It's accurate, but let's switch the things, please. Okay. This might be it. This might be it. Okay, still, still very confusing to, in my opinion. Still very confusing. Still very confusing. So I suggest we do it again from the beginning. Okay, let's do it again from the beginning. But this time, we need to make sure the X and Y is also accurate. So then, so then we don't need to rotate anything. Don't rotate anything. So let's delete everything. Delete. Still not working well. Port, Kuka. So this one, um, let's check the X side. Okay, this is X. This is Y. It's pointing X negative direction. I mean, it's pointing X positive direction. Y. Okay, let's try again. <sighs> this one will be pointing that way, everything need to follow. So let's use assembly country. So let's try to using a file structure rather than a semi structure. Okay, now let's try to use a file structure. New file. Can't see. Can't see. Gawa. Saki. Okay. Wave everything inside. Not the face, but the bodies. So safe and uh, let's try to change the orientation, everything. Move for handle. Handle is located. 
Not including the data. Gosh. What I mean is put it here. So that we can arrange copy. Negative. Parameters. <coughs> now let's create points just to make sure that we are zero zero zero. Yep, let's create the this is not as happy see. But there are some values. How about this one? This is considered zero. 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 Yeah, this is zero. This is zero. No. Point here. Five. Another point here. Five. Another point here. I have one here. So I have four points with zero. Now let's try this geometry. Pointing in the X direction. Nice. Export. Save. And Export a staff file. Uh, data to export. Select this. Not the same. Mm, sorry, body. Okay, export to. Um, Kawasaki. Do it. Okay, let's look into here again. Import stop. Mm. So let's let's write down the value of these points again. Here. Copy. 
here. Something very surrounding issue D. Yeah. Okay, I somehow I know what happens. What's wrong with this thing? The X and Y are different direction. Okay, so this is a grid. Now let's uh, continue. Let's do it. Put it here. Okay. Now open the structure. Delete Kuka. New groups. Backup. And cut. Paste. Um, ungrouped. This is a necessary step. Edit. Zero. Everything zero. Very nice. Let's try to put some meaningful names. JT's. JT6. This guy. JT3. JT3. What? This one, JT1. Zero. Nice. This guy, one, three, four. JT4. It doesn't show up. Is this seven? JT7. Position zero. And this one. Position zero. JT five. I mean JT five. JT two. Okay, so everything is fine, very fine. Copy, base, height, work, okay, let's work with this one, JT2, straight away, this will be Zach, okay, then JT3, Cut, paste, uh, why do you want to put so far away? Two, this will be Is there a reason to put that that far away? I don't think that's a reason anyway. Now let's make animatable objects. One, one. Now, JT4, cut, paste, zero as well, animatable object, one, two, JT5, cut, paste, this zero as well. Now let's put these two in, cut, paste, 
just put zero and uh, this, this really has to okay so this is so perfect and easy uh, this uh, cut and here this and zero so everything seems very nice straightforward and let's take a look This is a kind of kind of strange. Why is it everything zero? That means they are all independent of they are all independent. They are all having their own coordinate system which is not related to because everything is zero, even though this is zero as well. So how can so this is still very weird to me, it's still very weird. Why is it everything is zero? It should not be that case, but Let's move on. To be serious, let's move on. Okay, now from here to zero, that means I can directly link this to zero. Let's say this is point zero. This is just making the differentiate value. Let's try to edit this guy. If we put in this value here. This value in and this value in. So we will just simply attach. Okay. This is straightforward, I know. Now this one similarly we we'll need to put the same value. Put here. This has nothing to argue about. This is straightforward, and I got it done already within seconds. Now let's look into Y1, which is the tricky part. So this one, I don't think I can go to the same place again, because everything is zero. So everything is zero, that means you are actually referring to this point as well, you know. So this one is just simply the negative value of because it's referring to zero currently, I need I need to go to um, it is refer you can say it is referring to the zero coordinate system. So that means I can just this is true. If that's the case, this is true. So let's try, let's try to put this value in. It's copy paste. Where are you? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm telling you. So this is nice. Seriously, this is easy. Thank you for making my life easy. So this one I'll copy here. Copy, paste. This is easy. Seriously, this is easy. Now, open. Where did they put it? Where did they get this value? Seriously. But let's look into okay, Kawasaki. Why have I changed? Okay. I uh yeah, so something is missing. That means after inputting this value, I need to plus this value. Wow. Seriously, this is a bit weird. It needs to go up. So one plus this comes here. Sometimes I don't have. Sometimes I just don't have a choice. Nope. G. 
change the sign. Can I just change the sign? No, I can't change. I can't just simply change the sign. So let's see this one plus sign. So this from here. It needs to plus previously is now it's negative it goes to this one minus this guy okay now it works is let's check again why is it why one nice let's do y2 uh y2 but i but i have not entered any value how come it has value now So y2 needs to reach zero as well. One, two, three, four. So let's assume that I can just directly input this value. So y2. But who gives you this value? Let's see if we give you this value. Uh, did I input this value? Please just now. Uh, it's input by me. And what is this value? But I did not input this value. Wait, wait, wait a second. I did input this value. Yes, this is input by me. Just that this needs to travel all the way down here. This is zero. So again, Let's try to do this. Okay. Copy, copy, copy. Nice, very, very nice. So for this join as well, it copy, copy, copy. Nice, very nice. Then this guy needs to update, but yeah, this guy needs to update because if this does not update, this is uh, no. So yeah, yeah, it's true. This guy needs to update. It's, yeah, it's update by me, yeah. so remember anything happens for a reason. I know, but I don't understand the reason. That's the problem. Now it's done, it's over there. So let's go back to here. We need to edit this guy. Okay. It is having this value currently. And uh, what was the value that has been added? This value has been added. It's having this value. Okay. This value has been added to it. 
So this one, simply this one minus this one. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Now, where are we? Save my work. We have we have done y2, so the last one is just sj, let's do sj. Just to confirm, yep, it's done. sj, your turn. We need to put this over here. So let's move it, sj. So simply, the value is just simply this one. Okay, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Let's check the value. Oh, I love you. Okay, now this as well. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay, yep, it is working very, very fine. And finally, to update this value with the compensation. So this value is here, is here. So close to this minus this guy. Now let's try to go back to here where the where the geometries. Somewhere, yeah, it's here. So let's try to move it up. That's it. Copy, copy, and copy. Nice, so it's back to here. Oh, thank God I've done it, finally. Now let's quickly, oh, let's pray hard. I need to sleep already. Let's try to do this. Let's pray that I have a good night's sleep. Okay. Finally, on Y direction, wherever it, 10 degrees, properties, joins, pss, pss, pss. yep. And, and the animation at Default edit. Where is it? Uh, it's kind of confused to see from here. Let's come here as rather. Let's come here. And uh, we'll be putting it somewhere in. This is too far away. There's one. Done, done, done. Save. I should get it this time. Yeah, the joints are right. Just that it is too far away. Yeah, finally I got it. The joints are too far away. No big deal, but I got it. 
Yes, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone.